I've got a present for you, your highness. It's the one you blasted point blank in the village, sire. He survived. Remarkable. Ganondorgon. Alive. Oh, my friend, I cannot believe you are here. They said you had been killed, along with your mother. The clan mother brought me to health. I was unable to protect my mother. I was unable to save the village. That is how you can move as you do. Every journey holds a chance of meeting a new animal spirit. Every journey holds a chance of losing yourself. I understand the risk. I will take the journey. Maybe I don't have to free Franklin from a prison. I have to free him from Washington's power. I found an ally, Radon Ageno. Samuel Adams. You were the famous man with the wolf hood. Hold still. <clears throat> oh my god, what have we done? But M is gone. And the captain at Boston Neck is secretly sympathetic to us. I have created a very special means of protection for Washington's palace. An attack there would be completely unexpected. You can get me past these protections? This is a fool's errand, my friend. But I hope to see you in New York. By heavens, what happened? Boston Neck was a trap set by Putnam. And Adams. Cannon Doga. Everyone killed. Your men stole my ship, you shite! Easy, Mr. Faulkner. Mr. Franklin is on the side of the rebels now. We need your help. I'll need you to untie the killer so it's all set to go. Meantime, I can scare you up a small crew. Then we'll rush the guards and set sail. Swim! I'll hold them off until you're ready to sail. Savage! Over here! Call back your men and give yourself up! I knew your only chance was to leap from the docks. You kept turning the wheel. Ganondokon, I do not care. Land ho! Look at that. Man would build such a thing. Ships off the port bow! We're not flying the king's colors. They're sure to fire on us. Gather up their colors. We'll use them to disguise our ship. You heard him, boys. Haul in the flags and we'll hoist them up. Aye, aye, Mr. Faulkner! I forgot how a good sea battle could get my blood flowing. Sail around attacking ships. That's the life. <laughs> I know that feeling. It seems to run in my family. Your father was a seafarer, then? My grandfather. Edward. He sailed with a rough crew. Or so I am told. For the king? For himself. But that is a long tale for another day, Mr. Faulkner. Slow down, lad. There's mines about. Don't shoot the mines. That'd give us away for sure. They're on top of us. Better shoot first. Catch them with their knickers down. Shoot the mines now, lad. Blow those boats to kingdom come!
guns are out of commission. We have no firepower. We will have to ram them. Ram them? Deploy full sail, Mr. Faulkner, then abandon ship. You too, Conan I will see you on shore. Full sail, boys! My spectacles, thank God. Uh, uh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stay away from me! I will not come under your power again! No need to worry. Yes. Never touch that. There was another one. Disperse and find them. Yes, Your Highness. He wanted to atone for what he'd done. He saved my life, and very nearly killed Washington. It will take more than a tomahawk. It will take great power. We do have this. Useless. Don't be foolish. That trinket only opens doors. What are you doing? The animal spirits know things we do not know. If I journey to them, they may teach me. Are you all right? Keep watch.
forgive you, my son. That's my power! I am freedom itself! This time I'll make certain of your death! You were feverish. What's happened to your eyes? We must separate to search out Jefferson and the Rebellion. Very well. Thank God you're here. The rebels saw their chance when we drew Washington to the docks. They're attacking the pyramid. Their escape is cut off. They will be cut to ribbons. I must get down there.
Can you perform such a feat again? Washington has us completely surrounded. I will hold off any reinforcements. You fight your way back to the main gate. Fall back, men! Fall back! Your Highness, some of the people are attacking the pyramid. People? Attacking? I am the people. Yes, my liege. I am the people! I've given myself to the cause of freedom, do they not see? I've sacrificed my entire life for them. Defeated the English. I gave them liberty! Me! And yet still they rebel. This is madness. You are our beacon, Your Highness. You save my men. We must all scatter and disappear into the city. Who are you? Raduna Gedon. A pleasure, sir. We will meet later and plan our next move. Well, sir, I have never seen anything like what you did back there. A resourceful man like yourself could easily help the people. My goal is to take Washington down. The rest is none of my concern. We'll never defeat Washington without the people of New York behind us. And what do they want? Well, they're starving. 
we will win their support if we feed them. However, all the food is controlled by John Fitzwilliams. He is the most corrupt official in a city filled with corruption. Bring him to me, and I will track him to his stores of food. There's Fitzwilliams. You won't find a worse bloodsucker this side of the Atlantic. He sells the food at inflated prices and skims the extra for himself. I do not care about him. We only care about getting people something to eat. Eventually, he'll lead me to his horde. of every carrot and turnip, all right. You think Washington's a part of this? What I do, an innocent babe. You. Yes, you. I, I wasn't doing nothing. Thomas Jefferson needs someone to get this cart of food to hungry people. To sell it? Give it. Free food for hungry folks? You're a man, friend. Get some friends. We will take as many cartloads as we can. I was gonna make it out alive, but goddamn, it's the most fun I've had all week. Thomas Jefferson, people! This here food is thanks to Mr. Thomas Jefferson! Thomas Jefferson! Just a few carrots, and he has won their loyalty. What was that? My friend Paul Revere disappeared three days ago. This soldier just confirmed the disappearance of his wife and son as well. I am sorry. Revere was an able and valuable man. He was endeavoring to loosen the blue coat grip on the city. Neighborhood by neighborhood, he was winning the people's trust and support. I will take up Revere's work to help rally the city. If the citizens fight for us, we will replace Washington with a new leader. This country must be led by the people.
Washington is giving a speech. We... Citizens of the United States, I come before you, a humble man. As I look out upon this vast land, I see each of you suffering. Yes, suffering and striving for a better life, a better future, a better America. Each one of you sacrificing, slaving for this great country, for freedom. And I humbly say to you, your sacrifices inspire me. They shall not be in vain. I know this life is difficult. The ravages of war, food shortages, crime, the burdens caused by Jefferson's seditious murderers. But we, we have a greater purpose that will unite us and lift us above these trifling troubles. For us, the obliteration of these rebels will be but a foretaste of the feast to come. Citizens, as I stand here, I feel the four million hearts of our nation beating within my breast. Today, I announce the great project of this nation. We are mastering vast armies. We are fashioning powerful armadas. We shall soon march upon our great dark enemy, England! We shall invade her shores and irrigate her fields with blood. English bones shall provide grist for her mills and her people shall become our slaves. Each of you shall profit from the sweat of their labors. Our nation shall rise to its proper place as the greatest of all, the most sovereign kingdom, the United States of America! All parts of the city are ready to rise up. At last, we will bring down Washington. I trusted him absolutely when we fought the British. Strange that these few years later, I would risk everything to bring him down. Has everything been prepared for my signal? I have a man at the military district now. He'll know where the weaknesses are to be found. We will signal the beginning of the revolution and destroy their gunpowder all at one time.
treasonous acts against kin and country, these men are sentenced to a shameful death by pirates. Let's get this over. First one. Ready! Aim! Fire! Reload! You Let me go and fight me! Don't shoot me, I've got nothing. Damn you. You couldn't have gotten here a bit sooner? We must hurry to set off the explosion. Yes, well, there's no easy way to get to the gunpowder. By my way of thinking, the best plan is to set that tower over there on fire, then topple it onto the depot. I will set the tower on fire. You set up those powder kegs at its base. in place. Our plan is working, my friend. Washington's troops are scattered. The palace is unguarded. This will help you along. The mechanism's rather tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to unravel it. Very well. I will see you once I have succeeded. Target was up here.
Why is this loose? These doors were forced open. Mother, you failed to stop Washington, but maybe I can follow you to him. Someone in the palace. Shoot anything that comes through there. There are teeth marks on this. blood. Too much for a human. Someone broke through here.
mother. It is time I finished what you began. It is you at last. Commander Washington. If you give up the apple, I will let you live. Give up the apple? It controls you. Is that what you believe? I believe I control it. Although I never considered the possibility that it could control someone. Perhaps it can. You have been corrupted by the apple's power. Corrupted? Well, that raises an interesting question. Do you wish me to give up the apple in order to save my soul? Or do you wish the apple for yourself so you can control the nation? The true rulers are the people. <laughs> Let's not deceive ourselves. It's an absurd thought, but... Let's suppose that I were beholden to this apple. How would you behave differently? I would use it for the good of everyone. Well, the possession of the apple is both a burden and a blessing. Tell me, when you shake the earth, do you feel that you are a slave to the people? Or do you wish to be their master? The people want you brought down. But you didn't answer the question. I am the only king here!
There's nowhere to hide. I will end you for all you've done! I died trying to bring down Washington. And I plead with you, do not pursue the apple. My son, I am so worried for you. The sky journeys have led you astray. Give up your fight for the apple, please, my son. Please. Now's your chance. Take the apple. Take it! Take it! Commander. Take it. Take it from me. I do not want it. No man should possess a power so absolute. Sink it into the sea. Weight it. And sink it to the bottommost reaches of the ocean. Commander Washington. I thought I was alone. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's quite all right. Things appear to be at a stalemate. I'm afraid so. Might I suggest, Commander, 
that a republic cannot survive in a world with so many contending powers. I beg your pardon. Elected bodies, to be sure. The war was fought for this. For this nation to prosper, for this nation to thrive, the weakness of a republic must be balanced by a powerful man at its center. A powerful man, Commander, who, if, if I may be so bold, would be elevated in the eyes of the world if he were given the title of king. Sir, I believe I can answer you in complete candor. Your proposal raises the greatest mischief that could befall my country. You could not have found a person to whom your schemes are more disagreeable. Let me conjure you then. If you have any regard for your country, concern for yourself or posterity, or respect for me, to banish these thoughts from your mind. Never communicate as from yourself or anyone else a sentiment of the like nature. We are done here. You want to go back? Yes. Back. Take us back. 